The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, folks. Welcome to the November 19th, the uh, fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I can make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're gonna go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon, but really it's just past eight o'clock in the morning. So if you're listening in at the normal time frame, normal time frame slot, we're gonna make this show as pertinent as we can for you. And of course, if you're listening li uh, live, we would love to hear from you. So a couple different ways to do that. You can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in or don't want to talk on the air or what have you, I get that. Uh, you can send me an email, send it to steve at tfn.com. And inside that subject heading, if you'd put radio show question, that would be a great thing. And of course, in our Tigers, then well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to La Show. Right now, as we take a look at U.S. futures, we've got a little bit of a mixed bag here. The Dow's off 230. The Nasdaq's up 77. The S&P's down 12. The E-mini Russell's off 32. That's one and four-tenths percent to the downside. Spot Volatilix is well above its 50-day exponents moving average. So we're going to take a look at that. Look at uh, what happened over in Asia last night, a mixed bag there. You had the Hang Seng off 269 points. We'll go figure out what that means. And the uh, Nikkei up 147, about a half a percent. Uh, the, in Europe this morning, the DAX and the uh, FTSE are trading lower. We'll go figure out what that means. Gold's up a buck 50. You got the U.S. dollar index up by uh, 673 ticks. And I've even got a 10 minute uh, delay on that. So maybe even a bit higher. Uh, silver is down 12 cents. Light sweet crude is trading out at 75.85. That is suggesting lower price. We're going to take a look at what all those things. In fact, let's begin by taking a look at what does some of these things mean out here. So how does Stevie begin this morning? You've been through this as we do some of these uh, Friday morning shows out here. We begin by taking a look at what was really going on overseas. So we're going to get the international market charts up momentarily. I'm going to change screens here. So just give me a moment to do that. And as soon as this pops up in the upper left-hand corner, what you'll see is the Shanghai index. So the Shanghai, if you take a look at what it did yesterday or what it's done. So first of all, the Shanghai has a TD9 count bottom. It's got a buy the D point bottom. That was formed with that hammer candle. It's got wave number seven. That's letter G. So it's got just a little bit about everything here. Now, price is above that oscillator and change line. There's actually an A to B equals CD to the upside. But the resistance level here for the Shanghai is in the 3762 area. The Hang Seng. The Hang Seng also has a TD nine count bottom, but price this uh, yesterday, Leslie, or this evening, not this evening, last evening, this morning. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Don't worry, it's early for me, not that early. But uh, price is below that oscillator and change line, which is uh, twenty five two forty one. So that suggests that maybe price is going to pull back and test that uh, swing point. It's already inside that swing point, so it may test the bottom of that. The Nikkei, the Nikkei tested and rejected that green oscillator and change line. As long as price remains above that, then the A to B equals CD pattern that's drawn in here that takes price up to the 3,600 level remains in play. Now, if we take a look at the DAX, the DAX went ahead and formed a TD9 count. It did that two days ago. It was in the bar following bar number nine. So that high is a key level. Right now, what we're seeing is price is pulling back and straighting below that green oscillator and change line. That suggests to you and I that the DAX should go to, if as long as it closes below 16,164, it should go target 15,985. Now, the reason we want to pay attention to the DAX is because in this divergence here, we've got our NASDAQ trading to the upside. And the NASDAQ and the DAX have a fairly good correlation out here. So while the 
NASDAQ looks bullish. This is at 8, 10 in the morning. At 1, 10 in the afternoon, I'd be curious as to how it actually looks. So the DAX is saying we should expect the NASDAQ to pull back. But we'll take a look at the NASDAQ charts to see if we can figure that out, if it's providing us with that same kind of message. In any event, as long as the DAX is able to hold 15,985, I'm not saying that's in jeopardy today, although it could be. But as long as price holds that, uh, it will remain, um, well, that could, that could be the buy point. That could be a buy point on a pullback. The FTSE, the FTSE has a, a what? Has a uh, sell the D point pattern out here. Uh, price below that oscillator and change line. The target area for the FTSE on a move lower is 69.95. See, we got you know markets that are suggesting a move lower. Markets internationally suggest a move higher out here. We don't have any kind of a, uh, a uniform uh, message. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's moving higher. Uh, it could easily form an, a TD nine count uh, pattern today. In order to do that, price has to take out the high, and that high is 96.27. It does not need to close above the high. It just needs to take it out, uh, move above it. If it does that, then we will have bar number nine likely, and so that could be a topping signal. It doesn't show on this chart, but uh, price is trading into or around the top of its daily profile. The euro yesterday formed a buy the D point pattern. It did that. When it, and let me just expand the chart out here. It's probably difficult to uh, see. But if we take a look at the euro, uh, one, it has an A to B equals CD to down pattern. Now, whoops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. There we go. So uh, you can see the A to B equals CD that I've drawn in here. I've just got the A to B and the C to D leg. And then yesterday, the candle that formed was a bullish Three River Morning Star. Now, the support level on that is being tested. And that's the low of the pattern. So that low is at 1.1263. If the euro closes below that, it will negate that pattern, but it will form bar number nine of a TD9 count to suggest that a bottom could form today or tomorrow. So if, in fact, uh, the uh, low of the uh, Three River Morning Star holds and you get a TD9 count, this is a pretty good indication that we should see the euro move higher. That would mean strengthen and then the dollar move lower out there. So let's see how that plays out uh, today. Uh, the yen has a confirmed road momentum indicator top. It did that about two days ago. Price below that oscillator and change line suggests to move back to its uh, swing point from November the 10th, and that'd be in about the 112 area. So before we leave these charts, what do they tell us? I, I think the most important thing or the most important signal really comes from the uh, DAX because of its correlation to the NASDAQ, which is trading up about 73 points right now at 8.13 in the morning. So let's go take a look at the NASDAQ. Let's go see what its uh, eight panel charts, multi time frame charts are communicating to you and I. Uh, so give me a moment to get over there. Trading, NASDAQ, NASDAQ, yeah, natural gas, here we go. So now what we have is we've got a monthly, weekly, daily, then we drop down to the intraday time periods, the 30, the 60, the 120, the 240, and the five hour time frame. So what we're looking for here, so on the daily chart, and I'll just expand this out. So what took place yesterday was the NQ negated its topping signal. That topping signal was that TD9 count pattern. And price closed above bar number eight. Bar number eight was priced out at, or the high was 16,448. We closed above it, we're trading above it right now. So the NQ does not have any kind of a topping signal at the moment. It's triggered a road momentum indicator pattern. That's that uh, black diagonal line. And if we do get a bearish reversal candle, you could get one today. If we do get one and we see a close below that oscillator and change line at 16,395, that then is going to suggest, okay, we've got a short term top. We could see price pull back to about the 16,020 level out there. So that's what's going on inside the NQ. When we come back from this break, we'll finish looking at these charts, just looking at the short-term time frames, try to identify for you some levels of support to be looking at at 1.14 in the afternoon. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. 
For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Chew out here. We've got our eight panel charts. Now, when uh, and the reason to take a look at this eight this eight panel set of charts, this is very helpful to me at least in trying to understand what the market is communicating to us. So we know that inside the NQ, we're we're, we're paying attention to it because of the way that the DAX is trading. Of course, we'd be paying attention to it as well. And so what we're trying to determine is, do we see a big turnaround here in the NQ, uh, kind of similar to the DAX holding its TD9 count top? Now, as we mentioned, there is no topping pattern right now in the daily time frame for the NQ. But what I am looking for, based upon that uh, NASDAQ uh, 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 correlation to the to the uh, uh, to the DAX out here, I'm looking for some topping signals. So what I'm looking at are these multi time frames. And the 30 minute chart is where we'll begin. So on the 30 minute chart, and this is courtesy of Basil Chapman's wave out here. This is not the Basil, this is not the Chapman wave, just one element of it, which is letter number G. Letter number G is wave number seven, kind of like a seventh inning stretch at a baseball game out here. So that's the top that is in place. Now what has transpired since that top is nothing more than a consolidation sideways. The current profile, uh, bottom is 16,527. So if you see two consecutive 30 minute bar closes below that level, that suggests lower price. Now the lower price area target inside the NQ here, short of some type of bottoming pattern forming, I don't have anything to suggest that at the moment. Its price target would be that 16,336 area. That's the TD9 breakout level. We can see how well that breakout level held yesterday. So that's what we'd be looking for. But first price has got to close below 16,527. Now, this is a 30 minute set of profiles. It's 819. I guarantee you by 119 in the afternoon, these profiles aren't going to mean a whole lot to you. But you can at least use that as a marker. Uh, I suppose, to uh, try to understand what the market is communicating to us. We don't have a topping pattern on the 60 minute. We don't have one on the 120 minute. We do on the 240 and the five hour chart. So both of those are TD9 counts. Now, in their case, I'm going to go to the four hour chart first. On the four hour time frame chart, you can see that there's a new bear structured profile that is formed. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Now, this, I'm sorry, I take that back. It is not a bearish structured profile. It is a bullish structured profile. But more important than that, and this is the odd thing, maybe it's not odd, but this profile formed below price. That's a bullish message out there. 
that is a bullish message. So even though we've got the topping signal, price above the top of that daily profile, it's a signal is neutral. Now, the cool thing about the TD9 count is that if price closes above the high of that pattern, in this case here, that level, mark this down as 16,590. If you see a close above 16,590, you can forget about the correlation to the DAX because this is telling you it wants to continue higher. And we take a look at the weekly time frame charts for uh, these uh, equity futures contracts. They're all pointing to higher price out here. But so this is what I'd be watching. To the upside, I gave you that level. To the downside, the uh, top of that profile is at 16,504. If price can close below that, then that's going to signal you could easily see a move back to three areas that I'll give you. 16,418 would be the first, 16,332 would be the second, and then 16,282.75 would be the third. And that is the TD, the final one was the TD9 count breakout level. If price closes below that, that says that there's some problems in River City. No reason for us to really go take a look at the five hour time frame chart. It's there on the screen, you can see it. But it's the four hour that's provided you and I with the best information right now, which is that new profile that has formed. And so that's what you want to keep an eye on. So I think we have the parameters pretty well established out here with regard to the NQ. Now, the <coughs> excuse me, I did mention that the weekly time frame charts are suggesting higher price. So let me, you know, not confuse anybody. Let me show you what I mean by that. We're going to shift back to my black background charts. And here you'll see the weeklies are for each of the equity future contracts. So you got the ES in the left. You've got the NQ right next to it, then the Dow, and then you've got the Russell 2000. So as we take a look at what's going on right now, you'll see A to B equals CD patterns to the upside. Now, these are conservative A to B equals CD patterns to the upside. So the ES mini over time is suggesting to you and I that price should go target 47.89. Perhaps it goes up to the 49.33 level. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ is above you know yesterday's high. So is the ES. Or it's, it's not trading above the yesterday's high, but it did take out yesterday's high. That's kind of a bullish uh, signal out here. Um, but in any event, the NQ, you can see its price target is up at the 17,170 level. And I would hearken to say that that's not where price is headed to. Price is more likely headed to 17,932. Why would Stevie say that? Look, the A to B equals CD pattern, very powerful, provides you and I with a ton of information. One of those pieces of information, there's two pieces of information, the retracement on that B to, uh, that B to C leg. When that retracement is less than a 0.618 retracement, it tells you that there's a lot of pent up uh, movement uh, to the upside out there. Uh, that when that releases, it's just like, here, here's the here's the idea. It's real simple. We've all done this as we were kids, maybe as adults out there. Maybe you do it right now. Maybe somebody's doing that as we speak. And that is you take a rubber band and you wrap it around your finger. You wrap it around that index finger as tight as you can. Of course, it flow, uh, closes off the blood flow. I don't do this for too long. But what I, I want you to do is just think of in your mind, even if you just do this visually in your mind, just back it off only 38% and then let it go. Compare that energy to doing the exact same thing and backing it off 61%, 61.8% and letting it go. Which one has the most energy? The one that has the lesser retracement. Well, that's how it also works in A to B equals CD land. The other thing that we take a look at is the uh, which side of the C to D leg is price trading. When it's on the left side, on an A to B equals CD to the upside, it tells you you are on the strong side. So on the ES mini and the NQ, price is trading on the strong side out here. In the Dow, not so much, although we could adjust its A to B equals CD pattern. We probably should out there. But I'm going to leave this one that is in place. Price remains above the top of that weekly profile. So that's something for you to watch today because if price closes back below that area and that is at 35,388 as we come into the close today that's going to suggest some potential problems out here we'll deal with that when that happens inside the Russell 2000 the Russell 2000 on a weekly basis you can see the consolidation and right now price is hold back it's testing in essence the top of that consolidation where does price really need to close above today to maintain that consolidation I think for our purposes we would use the top of that weekly profile 2317 so as long as price remains above 2317 we're gonna say that consolidation pattern remains in place what happens if price closes below that that tells us that you know what we've got a uh, false breakout and if we've got a false breakout in the Russell 2000 Perhaps we have false breakouts in all four of the equity future contract. I think not, but that is a possibility and something that we will certainly look at if price gets back into those areas out there. So that's what's going on but uh, inside the equity markets. But we do have a couple of questions that have come in. One in the Tiger's Den and uh, two by email. I'm going to go to the first one that has come in by email. This is from Brent in Martinez, California, simply because we're talking about the Russell 2000, and I believe that's what he wants to take a look at as well. So what I'm going to do here is uh, do a little uh, um, quick dance step. 
if I can find it. I'm going to get to my Russell 2000 charts, and I'm going to change screens for us. We're going to go back to that eight panel uh, lookup out here so we can see what's going on for multiple time frames. And now let's read Brent's question. Brent says, could you look at the RTY, Russell 2000 equity future contract, for any bottoming patterns? On these shorter term time frames, I know it was testing the top of the consolidation yesterday and again today. Yep, I would be trading IWM, the monthly expired today, looking for possible. Okay, just looking for a possible day trade. Perfect. So we know the uh, we know what Brent is looking for. And he's looking for some type of bottoming signal. Well, the bottoming signal. We're going to first look at the 30 minute time frame chart, and what we have out here is a valid TD9 count. Now, how do I know that? I know that just simply because of the Chapman Wave letters that are out here, and I know that bar number nine made a lower low. So, Brent, if you're looking to take a trade, what you want to watch for is, now this current bar closes in about three minutes. So at this stage, with price not uh, really targeting the bottom of the last 30-minute bar, the key level to be watching here is 23.2850. As long as that level holds, what you should see on a short-term basis is the Russell 2000 bounce up to at least 23.45. If price can get above 23.45, I'd say 23.56 might be the next level out there. Let's continue looking at the Russell 2000 as soon as we get back from this breakout here. Folks, thanks for joining us. It's 8.26 in the morning for listening at 126. Thanks so much for doing so. We'll be back to the normal programming hour on Monday. We'll be back in just a few moments. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the Russell 2000, really short term, some intraday time frame uh, potential trades here for Brent in uh, California. Now, the blast bar that just formed, just as we were coming back on the air, was a bullish hammer candle. So it's telling us that uh, it's a signal to us is that uh, buyers are attempting to form some type of very short term bottom. But Brent, 
I don't know the price is really going to get above that oscillator and change line or close above it. Of course, how can I even make that statement? Well, the reason why I say that, so we're looking at potential bounces about the 2343 level. And the reason that I say caution at this stage here is because if I look at the four hour and the five hour time frame charts, they have negated their TD9 count bottom patterns out here. And that's a dangerous thing, you know, so the daily's got an A to B equals CD to the downside. Uh, we'd be looking for a bullish reversal candle to confirm that pattern. Now that would be nice if we could get that as prices testing that breakout level. Uh, or the consolidation, you know, breakout area. But, uh, you know, whether that's going to happen uh, today or not, it could. You could absolutely you could get a bull chamber candle uh, at the end of the day. So, but right now, as we speak, uh, it's only the 30 minute chart that has any kind of signal for a potential bottom. So I just would say cautious. Do I see a rally or a bounce up to that level? Sure. But we'd have to see what's going on inside the ES, the NQ. Uh, and the uh, Dow Equity Future contract as well. So I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for joining us so early. Brent is up at 5.30 in the morning out there, and he sent that message a uh, half hour ago or so. So that is a uh, beautiful thing. That's a wonderful thing. Now let's. Uh, we've got a question that came in inside the uh, Tiger's Den. So I'm kind of just shifting around. I want to just make sure that we get to everything. And um, I apologize. I don't recall who asked me uh, about this. Uh, it's been scrolled past my screen out here. That doesn't really matter. But uh, let me get to the set of charts here uh, that we're going to look at. So give me a moment. We're shifting off of that screen. We're going to another one. We're going to go to our black, black background charts. And this question is about diamond back energy. Ticker symbol there is FANG. And the individual here is looking for an entry into it. So here's what we know. Price yesterday, price the day before, tested and rejected the uh, bottom of its bullish structure daily profile, 106.87. So it, that could be a, a, a buying area. I can I can tell right now just looking at the chart. What we don't have is any kind of a bottoming signal on the daily time frame. I'll put up my white background charts. The, so the, the question becomes for somebody looking uh, for an entry point, you know, do you want to buy support? And so I would say you could buy it here. I don't know what it's trading at uh, where it's going to open up at 930. But you could buy this here. And if you saw a close below 106.87, you just immediately close it out because that would be a close below support. Granted, you'd like to see two consecutive closes at this stage here uh, where you've got your back up against the wall. If that level fails based on it holding the last couple of days, I wouldn't want to remain long. So so that's one possible area. Now, let's pull over the white background charts because the, the weekly and the monthly aren't helping us. They're bullish, by the way, price above the top of their profile. But back to the daily time frame. And here on the daily time frame, even though we have a Rhodes momentum indicator pattern signal, we've never gotten the bearish reversal candle to confirm the uh, to confirm the top out here. So what we can really see is sideways consolidation. And you're back towards the bottom of the consolidation. That again also suggests if you saw a close below 106.87, you know, close that trade out because you could pick this up at maybe 81.81. That would become the next downside price target on the daily. On the weekly chart, you can see price has a you've got a TD9 count top. Price is held the oscillator and change line so here's another good uh, piece of information for you should you decide to take that trade uh, because if price closed below the bottom of that daily profile and combined close to below 106.28 that's the weekly oscillator and change line that's saying you don't want to be long fang because you're going to be able to pick it up cheaper cheaper where could be 94.02 could be 77.45 could be 75.05 those would be the areas that we'd be looking at that's not the message right now because the message is that price is held and so on a weekly basis it's neutral on a daily basis it's uh we're going to call it neutral as well neutral to bullish and on the monthly time frame what fang says is hey i don't know what you guys are talking about i'm headed back to the highs in the 140 level because last month what fang did was it closed above its TD9 count top out there. So that's what I see when we take a look at the uh, TD, uh, when we take a look at FANG. One last chart here, I'll go to the 30 minute chart, see if there's any signals out here. Nothing that I really have to assist us in this trade. But if you're looking to get into it, uh, no bottoming pattern other than the consolidation, other than testing the bottom of that daily profile, your back is up against the wall. It's an easy place to go ahead and place a trade and then close it out if price closes below those support levels. So I hope that that helps you out with regard to ticker symbol F-A-N-G. As long as we're here, let's answer the last question that came in. There may be others that come in. I'd hope there would be. And this one is from Hector and Patty. Hector and Patty say, happy, fabulous, frosty Foster's Friday. So we know what kind of beer Hector likes. And I would be more than happy to join him in on a uh, Foster's. Uh, but what he wants to take a look at is not, and it's kind of early for me to have my uh, first uh, beer. Actually, I don't drink much these days. After uh, COVID, 
it has it kind of screwed up the taste buds out there. And so drinking rubbing alcohol, which is what all liquor basically tastes like to me at this stage here, it's not very fun. Makes you not want to drink is what it does. Uh, not that I was a big drinker to begin with, but even my sake, which is really a bummer. In any event, let's uh, get back to Hector's question. We don't even know what Hector's question was. Well, we do now. It's about Micron technology. And Hector's question goes like this. Mike, uh, MU, we loaded the wagon a few weeks ago on MU. Well, that's a beautiful thing. Price right now is above the top of its weekly profile. On a second close this week above 75.88, that would be a nice message for you, Hector, because it says price should head to 81.21. Oh, let me get MU going on my white background chart. So let me finish reading the question here. I kind of cut Hector off if you didn't know and reading the question. But here it says, please work some OUL resistance and support on a daily and weekly basis. Also, do you see a viable A to B equals CD bottom? inside of uh, Micron technology. So uh, we can go back and take a look at that uh, that that bottom. And, and the answer is sure. Uh, here's the A to B equals CD. And I'm just going to look at it on the weekly time frame. Um, <clears throat> if that's okay with you. And so, yeah, Hector just said, yeah, it's okay with him. Uh, so here's the A to B equals CD to the downside. So the A point out here in the trading session, the week that began April 12, 2021. Our B point is going to be the low of May 17, 2021, and then the retracement is up into the high from the week of May 31st. So here's our one to one. It's completed. It was confirmed two weeks ago with this little bull sash, can bull sash candle on the weekly basis out there, a bullish engulfing candle, bull, you know, either one, bullish engulfing candle. And uh, and now with price above the top of that profile, that's a cool thing. No, that set up a Gertley buy pattern. So I don't do this too often, but but we're going to do it because it makes sense because Hector asked about the A to B equals CD pattern. Now, the cool thing about a Gartley buy, a Gartley buy pattern, which in essence is what this created, is that all Gartley patterns have five different potential outcomes. So we're going to, oops, I got to get to the right tool out here. Give me a moment. Back to the default. And what we're looking at are retracements. So the first four levels of a Gartley buy pattern become the retracement areas. The retracement areas that Stevie uses are the 0.382. Well, we can take a look at, on a weekly basis now is what we're looking at. We can see how Micron is sitting right at the 0.382 retracement. So that's at 77.62. Now, oftentimes when you get to that level, kind of think of these as elevators. Some people get off the floor. So if they're getting off the floor, what you want to watch for here, Hector, is you'd really like to see price close this week above the top of that profile, 75.88. What happens if it doesn't? If it doesn't close above that, it says last week's move was a false breakout. That's what it tells us. We have to go back to the daily time frame charts, take a look at things. The next move, should this continue to move higher, right now that's the message, would be the 0.618 area. And that's at 8501. The third level would be the 0.786 retracement, 9026. And then the fourth level would be the 100% move of move, get back to 9696. What's level five? Level five is that that Currently, buy pattern set up the C point of an A to B equals C D to the upside. What would that look like, Steve-O, in the case of Micron? Well, that's pretty easy. We'll just do the conservative one. We'll start with the swing point from August 17th of 2020. We use the high uh, that was back in uh, April, and when we use the low of this pattern, and the one to one would take us to 120.38. Is Stevie saying that's where it's going? No. All I'm sharing with you is when you get a Gartley buy or Gartley sell pattern, know that there's five different potential outcomes that you're looking for. Now, what Hector was looking for is I'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Hey, can you believe uh, we less than a week for uh, till Thanksgiving out there? You know, one of my Thanksgiving uh, stories, and I just kind of reminded me of it by Jimmy D. And the Tiger's Den uh, wrote down early version Stevie son and Hector uh, in his email was uh, good morning, early bird. And I have always been a early riser. Now, pro probably some of that goes back to the fact when I was a kid, um, it was I had two paper outs in Detroit. I did the morning and the evening uh, paper route. The morning route was the uh, free press. It meant I had to be up at about 4, 4.30, something like that, to uh, drive to, to ride my bike about a mile to get to pick up the papers, to deliver them, to be able to get back home, to be able to get to school. So now my Thanksgiving Day story goes like this. Now, I, I had a big, some of you may have even had the same bike. I had a big Schwinn, big old black Schwinn. I had the big old monkey bars so I could hold the, so I could have papers on the front. You know, I had the saddles on the back. Um, and Thanksgiving, as you know, well, it used to be, I don't even know what it is anymore out here. That used to be the biggest paper of the year, right? Because it had all the sales in it. Uh, you know, that was when everything was closed on Thanksgiving. You know, things didn't open up until Friday morning. In any event, this one year, this one Thanksgiving, Detroit area, they had a big, huge snowstorm. So I'm riding my Schwinn, you know, on ice and sleet and snow. Uh, and, uh, and as I'm riding, getting back towards where I start to delivering papers, the handlebars on my monkey bars start to slide in, you know, totally compress. Now I don't have any handlebars um, and I'm dragging those bags, right? I don't have some, there's no cell phones, there's no nothing. There's nobody I can call And And what a miserable thing. And the people who got those papers, I'm dragging those things through the snow. You know, they're a little bit wet out there. Um, probably didn't get much in the way of tips uh, back then, but I've always been an early riser. The early bird catches the worm. I don't know what's that all about. I don't know. Let's get back to Micron technology. MU out here. So Hector was specifically asking about the uh, oscillator and change line. So there's no topping signal that we have out here. And price closing above 74.99, the TD9 breakdown level, that was a, a beautiful thing. But what we can't see here, Hector, is that that oscillator and change line changed colors about five, six bars ago. We've seen price kind of stall out since then. What you're really looking for here at some point is a test and rejection of that green oscillator on change line. Currently printed at 74.77. If you get that, that would be a bullish signal and says that price wants to run up to the 96.82 area. That's what the daily time frame chart is telling us. The weekly time frame chart, you asked about the oscillator and change line. That's at 73.79. So as long as price remains above that, everything there is uh, good. So nothing else for me to share with you, Hector. Uh, but uh, thanks so much for joining us early as well. And uh, our regards to uh, Patty. 
they are the fuel injectors. So no other questions that I've got. I don't believe there is anything inside the tiger's den. Um, yeah, I don't see anything out there. So what do we want to do? Let's go take, let's continue looking at, well, let's, let's do this here. Now nah, we're not going to do that because I'm going to do that in about 15 minutes, which is the market update. But let's do this here. I don't know what this is. We're going to go take a look at some, we're going to take a look at gold, silver, gold, silver, and the uh, U.S. dollar. And uh, so first we'll do that. Then we'll come back and we'll take a look at uh, VUZI, the U-Z-I. So here with gold, silver, and the U.S. dollar, uh, we talk about uh, the oscillator and change line. It's a really important tool. really helps us to understand when a retracement is just a retracement or when it's something more. If we take a look at gold, it's got a TD9 count top, valid top out there. It also has a new bear structured profile. Now, the real key level we're watching here is 1851.20. But what we can see that has taken place since the TD9 count top is now today, this morning, we've seen a test and rejection of that green oscillator and change line. And as long as price remains above that, conditions will remain neutral. If price closes below 1851.20, what you're looking at is likely a run back to 181360. That's what the gold contract is telling us. Silver, silver uh, is trading below that green oscillator and change line. Tells us that its momentum has waned just a bit. But if price closes back above 2490 today, that will get it back on its bullish ways. It has a profile as well, and price is testing support. And that's at 2476. So as long as price closes above 2476, no damage out there. The dollar U.S. dollar index trading higher. Gold trading a little bit higher out here, no problem. What the U.S. dollar index is doing is uh, testing the top of its daily profile. And it's trading just above it, just slightly above it. Um, but in what it really needs to do to generate a topping signal is either form a bearish reversal candle, not likely to happen today, or spike above, whether it does that today or it does that on Sunday, Monday, is spike above 96.27. If it can do that, it'll join the... Uh, gold contract with having a TD9 count top out there. Um, so what's the summary here? The summary is that gold is neutral, silver is neutral, gold is not neutral, gold is still bullish out there. And uh, and look, in, in markets you can't get gold and uh, the US dollar moving higher. It's really not about that correlation. The correlation that's most important is how is gold trading in all the major currencies. So we're gonna go take a look at that. Uh, because uh, it's how, you know, if you trade only based upon how gold is trading and then the U.S. dollar, you're going to miss out on a ton of stuff. You're going to miss out on 75 percent of the market, which is the traders around the globe. How are they viewing gold? And I guarantee if you're in Europe, you're not really paying attention to gold price in dollars. Yes, you're paying attention to it, but you're more interested in how is gold trading in terms of euros out here. And earlier in the day, price took out its most recent highs out there. That's a bullish message for gold price in euros. So we've got gold price in euros moving higher today. Gold priced in dollars kind of flat, potentially lower, yen lower, uh, pounds higher. So really we've got buyers and sellers out here not seeing anything to suggest, not at this moment, that gold's gonna take some kind of dive to the downside. Not that it can happen, but you can see here, we've got both buyers and sellers. It's very clear in those other currencies. And that's something that's really important to take a look at. Now let's get back to the question at hand. And that one coming in from um, SNP. And SNP wants to take a, take a look at ticker symbol VUZI. That is, uh, is that what it is? Vuzi, yeah. That is uh, Vuzix Corp. And uh, give me a moment here, if you would. I need to get back to my other chart so that I can get that rolling for us. And uh, so we can look for any kind of signals out here. So that, again, was V-U-Z-I. Now, the question is what? Just can we look at it? I know that there's more to it than just can we look at it. But we are looking at it. And as we look at it, what does this tell us? Yesterday, price closed below the top of its daily profile, 1392. This has a bullish structure daily profile. So should Vuzix Corp continue to move lower, the areas of support we would be looking at are between 1018 and 1158. That's what's coming from the daily time frame chart. The weekly time frame chart says, hey, I'm still bullish. I closed above the top of the weekly profile last week. I'm above it this week. And that says you want to see it close above 1230 for it to retain its bullish look. Take a look at that wide ranging bullish structured monthly profile. Now on a monthly basis, the month of November, if we close above 1211, we're at 1338 right now, that would be a very strong bullish message. It suggests that Vuzix could make its move to 3243. So that's the bigger picture. 
What's the shorter term picture? Another did the daily time frame. What kind of signals do we have out here? Well, what we do have is we have a road's momentum indicator top that formed two days ago. It did it with that dark cloud cover candle. Price closed below the green oscillator and change line. So if price remains below 1365, you're looking for Vuzix to trade back into that 1018, 1158 level. And as price gets down into that area, look to the short term time frame charts. Look for something like this, a road's momentum indicator bottom signal for the 30 minute time frame. I'm not saying that it's bottom yet. It has none. But right now, the daily chart is suggesting that this may, you may be able to pick this up at about 1018 to 1158. And that's ticker symbol VUZI. That was for SNP and our Tiger's Day. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be back in just a few. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, that uh, black Schwinn of mine, it, did, it eventually got stolen. This is kind of an interesting, interesting story, and and it had some unique identifiers on it. And so one day, probably a month or two after it had been stolen, some buddies of mine and I, you know, just we we found the bike. We found the guy that was riding it, and um, it wasn't really a pleasant uh, afternoon for for that kid. So I got my bike back out there. Um, those blacks, those things were like 
Those things were the original Hummers. And those of you who had them, they got to go back, you know, 50 years um, if you can. But th those things were great. Hey, look, let's do this for the last minute here. We're going to take a look at the 30-minute equity future contracts. So the Dow and the Russell 2000 have been the weak links this morning. And each of those do have valid bottoming signals, or it appears they do. Um, we've got five minutes for the current bar and the Dow equity future contract, the lower left to form. But it's going to form a – looks like it's got a TD9 count bottom. It has a now going to confirm a Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom out here uh, with this three river warning star. So price should go target that red oscillator and change line. That's 35,683. If price closes above that, then that says that the Dow equity future contract likely targets the 35,815 level or higher unless some new profile forms. So the Dow has a valid bottom. Watch those two oscillator and change line, those two being the Russell 2000 as well. Uh, that's approaching that 2344 level. If price can clear that, and the Dow is clearing it, then that would suggest a move to higher price. Now, you want to also watch the NQ at the same time. No topping. Well, it does have wave number seven. It's got a wave number seven pattern. I think we covered that. Uh, price is consolidating with inside its profiles. But if price can close above that oscillator and change line at about 16,573, that's a bullish message. And if the ES Mini can take out its oscillator and change line, that level is at 4,700. Pretty much even Stephen out there. That suggests a run to 47.09, maybe even 47.19. So, folks, thanks so much for joining me early on a Friday. Always great to be with you. I want you to have a fabulous weekend out there and uh, stay safe uh, and stay tuned for great program. Tommy O'Brien, he's up next. And if you listen at one o'clock, you got uh, Dave White with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, who will take us on home. I'll be back with you on Monday at 1 p.m. sharp to do the uh, market update. And uh, just have a great weekend. Take care, folks.